In this quick video, I will show you how to create subfolders or nested folders in Notes app on macOS. For some reason, Apple made it pretty obscure, but you can actually create nested folders even on macOS High Sierra, and they will be visible on your iOS devices as well without any problems, even those running the latest iOS 13. So, all you need to do is to create a folder and then drag it with your mouse or trackpad onto another folder, and then Boom, it creates a subfolder, easy as that. I still don't get why Apple couldn't simply add visible context menu to move folders in and out of other folders, but yeah, here you go. <laughs> you can create even more nested folders within subfolders. Not sure how deep that rabbit hole goes, but it definitely covers my needs anyway. The one thing to note is that at least on High Sierra, which I'm currently running on my Hackintosh, you cannot change the sorting order of the folders. It always gets sorted by the name from A to Z. At the same time, folders on iOS can have a different structure. You can move them freely in any order you need, and they will stay that way on your iOS devices while being displayed in alphabetical order in your macOS notes app. At least this is how it is on High Sierra. Maybe in later macOS versions like Mojave or Catalina, they've added the ability to preserve folder sorting order between macOS and iOS devices, but I cannot confirm it at the moment. If someone can test their Mojave and or Catalina and iOS 13 devices and tell us about the results, please do so in the comment section so we can all learn something new. Thank you. One more thing to note, at least on High Sierra, the top folder, the one that encompasses subfolders, will not display neither the notes of subfolders nor the subfolders itself. So if you have, say, a folder called Screenplay, and you have subfolders with chapters or research, etc., top Screenplay folder will not show you the notes that are inside of Chapter folder, nor again will it show you even the names of subfolders inside of it. You will always need to use that arrow to expand main folder to get access to subfolders. It can be both good and bad, depending on how you see it. I think it's okay to not display notes, because it doesn't create any more unnecessary clutter. However, it would be really nice to at least see the names of subfolders. I think Apple has addressed it in either Mojave or Catalina, so if you're running those versions of macOS, please test it and share with us if it's true or not. Be aware though when you delete your folders with subfolders because you will not be able to restore the same folder structure, because in recently deleted, there will be only nodes themselves, not folders, which is a bit of a bummer. So be aware of this quirk. So yeah, here you go, how to create and manage subfolders or nested folders in macOS Notes app, even on High Sierra. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like, maybe post this video on Reddit if you think some people will find it useful too. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.